Is this the end for Texas's Republican Attorney General? Maybe. We have word uh, that uh, Ken Paxton is about to be impeached by Republicans. So now, in a unanimous decision, a Republican-led House investigative committee has recommended impeachment for Ken Paxton. Wow. Uh, now, this would be on 20 articles, including charges as bri uh, such as bribery, unfitness for office, and abuse of public trust. So I I'll get into more of the details here. Uh, but first... Uh, the Associated Press notes that Paxton has been under FBI investigation for years over investigations that he had used his office to personally help a donor. He was also separately indicted on securities fraud charges in 2015, and he was accused of defrauding investors in a tech startup, and he has yet to stand trial. So the year prior, in 2014, he admitted to violating Texas securities laws over not registering as an investment advisor while soliciting clients. So Ken Paxton has a huge history of corruption. Unsurprising. Uh, and yet, again, he is uh, uh, Texas's top attorney general. I mean, wow. So now let me give you more details to what uh, he's alleged to have done. He had also uh, opened a legal defense fund and accepted $100,000 from an executive whose company happened to be under investigation by Paxton's own office for defrauding Medicaid. Wow. And an additional $50,000 was donated by an Arizona retiree whose son Paxton later hired to a high-ranking job. Uh, now, of course, that, uh, <laughs> that new hire did not last long because he tried to make a point by displaying child sexual abuse images in a meeting. Why? What are you doing? What is going on here? But it's not just those things. His relationship with another wealthy donor, an, the, uh, an Austin real estate developer named Paul, that uh, is one of his biggest concerns, in fact, several Paxton's top aides in 2020 had uh, reported him to the FBI, saying that they had become concerned that the attorney general was misusing the powers of his office to help this real estate developer over unproven claims that there was a conspiracy against him to steal $200 million of his properties. Now, the FBI ended up searching Paul's home back in 2019 but he's not been charged, and his attorneys have denied wrongdoing. Paxton also uh, told staff members that he had had an affair with a woman who, it later emerged, worked for Paul. Now, the allegations include attempting to interfere in foreclosure lawsuits and improperly is uh, issuing legal opinions to benefit said donor and firing, harassing, and interfering with staff who reported what was going on. The bribery charges stem from Paul allegedly employing the woman with whom Paxton had an affair with in exchange for legal help and Paul allegedly paying for expensive renovations to Paxton's Austin home. So this is just a litany of corruption. There's a lot there. A lot of charges, a lot of allegations against, again, Texas's top cop. Very likely is a criminal. Are we surprised? No. Of course not. And what also is not going to be surprising is uh, who he blames for this. Uh, well, it would be the left. Yes. Those dastardly pink-haired communists have come for him, he says. When the five-member committee's investigation came to light on Tuesday, Paxton suggested that it was nothing more than a political attack by the House's liberal Republican speaker, Dade Phelan. He, he's a Republican, but no, Rhino, d Rhino. He then called for Phelan's resignation and accused him of being drunk during a marathon session last Friday. What is going on in Texas? He also said, quote, it is a sad day for Texas as we witness a corrupt political establishment unite in this illegitimate attempt to overthrow the will of the people 
and disenfranchised the voters of our state. Paxton has been trying to disenfranchise voters all over Texas. Seriously. He also called the committee's findings on Thursday hearsay and gossip, parroting long disproven claims. By moving against him, Paxton says the rhinos and the Texas legislature are now on the same side as Joe Biden. Isn't it amazing they do all this alleged crime uh, and then when they're caught by members of their own party, they're like, somehow it's the left. Obama. It's, it's their fault. The, the rhinos are all against me. No, no, you, you're the criminal. I'm not the criminal. You're the criminal. No, no, uh, but pretty sure it's you that, that is the criminal here. Um, and look, uh, Republicans might actually hold him accountable by expelling him. Uh, we have yet to see, but we'll see. According to the Associated Press, it's unclear how much support Paxton actually has in the Republican-dominated House. Um, again, because uh, you have more Republicans there out of the 150-member Senate. You have 85 Republicans, 64 Democrats, We'll see what happens there. It requires a two-thirds to remove him. Um, but yeah. Now, as far as um, how many Republicans are openly supporting Paxton, so far, none of Texas uh, of Texas's other top Republicans have issued any sort of voice of support for Ken Paxton, at least on Wednesday. So it, it could be that he is uh, that he's done. Maybe, maybe. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna say he's done yet. But that said, unlike in uh, Congress, impeachment in Texas requires immediate removal from office until a trial is held. So he could still end up not being a, in charge, even if he's found not guilty. Interesting. Republican Greg, uh, Governor Greg Abbott could appoint an interim replacement. Uh, now, let, let's get into more of the uh, people who basically uh, reported him to the FBI. Because I think that's interesting. So, eight of his aides, former aides, reported him uh, for, you know, all these different shady dealings. Now, um, eight of them, all eight of them either were fired or had quit. Four of them ended up suing Paxton under Texas's whip whistleblower law. And Paxton eventually had to settle for $3.3 million. Now, uh, they haven't received that money because the Texas House has to approve the payout. Uh, again, the Republican-controlled Texas House has to, con has to approve it. Phelan says he doesn't think the taxpayer should foot the bill. And I actually agree. If you're going to, uh, you know, make this guy... Uh, pay, it should come out of his personal accounts and not out of the state. Now, shortly after that settlement was reached, the House investigation into Paxton had began. Uh, so, and of course, now we have the 20 count uh, impeachment charge. Now, how likely is impeachment? I don't know. I mean, it's not like these allegations haven't been around for years. They have been. And Texas Republicans did uh, nothing. But then, you know, uh, the new information uh, about the, the donor uh, could be the proverbial straw on the camel's back. Um, so I don't know. Uh, that said, this uh, committee was majority Republican, three Republicans, two Democrats. Uh, and there was unanimous agreement that they believe that Paxton did all these crimes and is an absolute crook. But again, it is going to be up to now the Republican House, which, again, you need two-thirds of the 150-member Senate. And one of the senators happens to be Paxton's wife. Oops. So I don't know. If, it, if it, we get into a situation where she ends up somehow being a tiebreaker, oh, that's going to be disastrous. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see whether or not enough... Texas Republicans care about law and order and actually fighting against real corruption or if they don't.